Before we dive into our conversation, I would like to invite Dr. Bakshi up to join me. Dr. Bakshi, a member of our Protect Our Province Coalition, has agreed to join me as I embark on a different kind of camera test that I'm used to, an on-camera rapid COVID-19 test. Thank you so much. I think I'm ready. Okay, wonderful. I feel like I need to like be like our province and be really loud about my... Yeah, so um, I guess I'll walk you, everybody through what the rapid test would be like. I think we're going to be using the Abbott test, Michelle, if I'm correct. Okay. Yes. So important thing that one of the things that Michelle did that I think is just really, it may seem obvious, but hand hygiene is absolutely essential. You want to make sure that you've got uh, a great setup, you've got your hands clean, and you want to make sure that you've got enough room on a kitchen counter or a table where you can have everything set up. Um, so the first thing, maybe we can show some of the pieces of the actual um, testing supply kit that you're going to get. So you're going to get a small tube, um, which is what we're going to put reagent in. Um, then you're going to see the reagent, which looks like a little bit of a, a eye, eye dropper that you might put in your eyes. Please don't put this in your eyes. Um, then you're going to have the swab, which comes packaged. And then you're going to have the actual uh, testing uh, where we're going to be um, placing the drops in uh, to, to see what the test is. So what we're going to first do is we're going to take the tube and we are going to prepare it with the reagent. Now, you may not be able to see it on here, but there is a small little line at the bottom. Uh, yeah, there you can see right at the bottom. Uh, that is where you're going to drop a reagent into. Now, you want to be careful because you obviously don't want to waste reagent. It's this very precious reagent. But you're going to drop uh, gently into that tube right till you get to the line uh, right at the bottom of that tube. And that is your reagent. Once that is ready, uh, it may, you may be given a small little stand to put that in so that you don't have to try to do everything with two hands. Uh, and there we go. So we're going to put that into the stand and we're going to set that aside. Next, we are going to, you can wash your hands again if you'd like, um, because we're going to be doing a swab at this point. Now, if you have somebody that can help you, certainly they can swab for you, but you should be able to do this on your own. If you're a little queasy about sticking something up your nose, certainly get somebody to help you. Uh, we're going to now open the swab. I always recommend for people to have a Kleenex nearby if you need, just in case you get a lot of um, boogers that come out with that. Um, and you're going to open up that swab. And the way these tests work is that we're actually going to be swabbing both nostrils. So as we take that swab out, what we're going to do is we're going to tilt our head back. Um, and Michelle will show you right there. You're going to tilt your head back slightly. And you're going to put the swab into one nostril first and swab uh, and turn it around about four or five times. Uh, you want to get it in pretty deep. Um, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. And once you're done with one side, you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you're good. You can wipe your nose if you need to with the cleaning. <laughs> you're going to go back to your tube that you have set up and you're going to insert uh, the swab into the tube and you're going to try to get it to the bottom where the reagent is and swish it around a couple of times. Uh, the package usually says about five times. And once that's swished around, you're going to leave the swab in there and you'll notice on the swab, there's a little bit of a notch at the top that helps you perforate and, and cut it off. Um, so once that's perforated off, you should have just the swab in the tube and they provide you with a blue cap. So you wanna put that blue cap on top and seal the tube. There we go. Okay, so now you've got your sample ready. So you can put that back in the stand and now you want to open up your testing kit. Okay, I'll have Michelle just kind of show what the testing kit looks like. There you go. So you're going to notice a couple of markings on there. You're going to see on the far, on your uh, right, you're going to see five drops, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. And then you're going to see a C and a T. The C is the control. And so once we put our sample and we drop our sample in there, we want to make sure that we see the control line. If you don't see the control line show up, then there is something wrong with that test and it's defective. And so we don't want to trust that then. 
So everybody who tests should have a C line that shows up. The T is will show up if you are positive. And so much like a pregnancy test, even the faintest line would mean that you're positive. And if it's positive, we would recommend that you go and get a PCR test for confirmation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our tube and we're going to open up the, the end of it, the white lid, and we are going to drop five drops into that area uh, to the right that shows the five drops there. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And what's going to happen is that the fluid is going to go across the testing supply, uh, the testing unit, and that control line should show up within about 30 seconds. It'll show up like a deep pink line. At this point, now the waiting begins, and the recommendation is to wait about 15 minutes to determine whether or not your test is going to be positive. Like I said, if you even have the faintest light line, that would indicate positivity, and we would recommend that you get a PCR test. Uh, I imagine the panel will talk a little bit about the effectiveness and the efficacy of a uh, rapid test, that it is not foolproof, but it is a great tool for us to use, uh, especially if you're concerned about gatherings or going to see other family members. You'll see that that liquid is migrating down that is completely normal uh, it will the whole thing will turn pink once it the whole thing is pink the control line will show up and then the background will be white again so that you'll be able to see the second line if you are positive and that's that so it's a very simple test um, certainly easy to do it takes less than uh, two to three minutes to do and then 15 minutes to wait for the result Thank you so very much, Dr. Bakshi. Um, I hope that this little segment of today's episode will be shared far and wide across the province, especially as we begin to do our own at-home rapid tests as announced by the province today. Um, I will hold the test back up either in 15 minutes or at some point appropriate point in time in the show and we will see what it looks like and what happened. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today. It's lovely to Thank see you. you. Ha happy holidays. You too. And on the rapid swab note, um, here is our control line with our negative test line. Um, yes, I was pleased about it. Um, combined with Sarah did mention to me that the brand that Albertans will be able to pick up from the pharmacies is different than the one that we performed on the show today, but the testing is similar process-wise. But when I get my hands on one of those Friday or Saturday, we will pop back on and record a quick video to put up with the actual kit that Albertans will have access to. The main difference is that um, the one that you use, I think, is it comes with the one big bottle of the reagent uh, because it's like the bulk pack. And then the ones that people will be getting um, I believe the reagent is already portioned out. Yeah. So it's like an individual. So that's also easier. The, those ones with the mask kits, you kind of have to, one person does a little dripping ahead of time. And so this is a little bit easier with the ones that we'll be picking up.